Howdy folks. Welcome back to another episode of this black man fixing this what used to be a junk travel trailer. Uh, over the week, I feel like I got a lot done. There was a lot of rain out here in Austin, Texas. Um, so I kind of shifted over to the inside instead of prepping to paint this thing on the outside. It seemed to do, it seemed that the travel trailer has done quite well with the, what is that stuff called? Uh, to show you the incredible sealing power of Flex Seal Liquid, we made this entire airboat out of screen and covered it in Flex Seal Liquid. After a day on the water, flying through alligator infested swamps, Flex Seal's watertight barrier takes a beating, stays strong and flexible, and the inside is completely dry. Yahoo! Brush, roll, dip, or pour. Imagine everything you could do with Flex Seal liquid. Uh, Flex Seal. I put Flex Seal up on the roof, and it rained a lot out here for about three or four days. No rain got in the inside. Anyways, let me show you the work that I've done. Um, yeah, the work that I've done over the week. <laughs> Alrighty folks, as you can see, I sanded down these uh, decals on the side of the travel trailer. Uh, they were kind of a pain in the butt, but I sanded them down with a, hard, uh, a really gritty uh, sandpaper. Then I came back over with something a little bit more fine to smooth them on out. Spray paint this thing right nice and easy. Um, right here, this black panel right here is the, um, the electric water heater that I installed right off of Amazon. It was a little bit pricey, but what can I say? I like to take nice, warm, instant showers and have instant hot water. Boom. Um, what else? The gas piping. Almost done insta installing. All right, folks. Here's what I'm looking like in the inside. Check out your boy doing some work in the inside. Yep, coming all along. I got this section of the walls up. Took me a little bit, took me uh, about one day to do, but those walls are in! Oh yeah! Yep. Gonna put up some nice wood frames around this bad boys. Still gotta do this side. Still need to finish that a little bit installation oh dang <laughs> oh never mind i forgot something but it's all good <laughs> gotta finish that over there right now the trailer is a mess stuff is everywhere i got a pile of stuff up there but luckily today i can start framing out after i put this wall in that way I can put the oven where it needs to go and I can start building out the bed and basically everything else. Um, I'm leaving the ceiling open right now until I figure out where, where these wires are gonna go. Um, and yeah, so the ceiling's gonna be the next thing. After I do the ceiling, I'm gonna put the floor down. No, after I do the ceiling, I'm gonna paint then I'm going to put the floor down after I finish painting. So, order of business. Frame out everything. Put up the ceiling. Paint. Put down the floor. Wall everything up. Yeah. Well, folks, this is going to be a really short video. I'm going to end it here on this note. And I just want to say that... Um, Fixing travel trailers is, is fun, but it's not easy, especially when you gotta start all over. So if you're out there looking for an old travel trailer, uh, just believe it's probably easier to just knock it all over or get somebody else to do it. Um, but I will say, now that this thing is coming on, uh, coming on along, it definitely feels a little bit more, there is a little bit more excitement um, because you know like, hey, am I at the end of this? never ending journey probably not I, I can't tell you how many times I've said okay by the end of this money be done by the end of this money be done it just seems to never end um, but just like most things 
you know, I, I, I definitely noticed that it's definitely worth some time to kind of take your time and go slow. There's been times where I just get really frustrated and I just want to just slap something up, but you always pay for it when you slap something up because you got to come back and redo it. And that just takes just as much time if you just did it right the first time. Um, but anyways, I want to thank you all for watching these videos. Um, big shout out to Group 337 for sponsoring. Um, I am not sponsored by Dewalt. I just use Dewalt tools because it's just easier to see with all that yellow and black. Um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe one day they'll sponsor me. I don't know, probably not. But I'm definitely going to continue building some things even after I finish this um, because I do enjoy creating. Um, I'm a graphic designer by trade, um, so I do enjoy creating. Um, but yeah, thanks again. Thanks so much for all my family and friends that I watch this, that are watching and have watched this um, because, you know, I mean, I just kind of enjoy entertaining. Um, anyways, you all take care, stay safe out there, and hopefully I can get this thing done. Anyways, talk to y'all later. Shh, shh.